Hello and welcome to Tech Circle. You are listening to a fresh episode of Tech This Week, where we bring you a weekly roundup of all the major developments in the space of tech startups, enterprise technology, and policy. I'm Shweta, and joining me are my colleagues Pail Ganguly, Anand Jay, and Prajit Nayar. Phase four of lockdown is likely to be announced soon, and earlier this week, Prime Minister Narendra Modi hinted at new guidelines and opening up of economy with caution. The magic number seems to be the 20 lakh crore rupees, the overall economic stimulus, which is expected to revive the economy. So let's begin with that. Uh, when we say 20 lakh crore rupees, uh, how many tranches are we looking uh, into this uh, pile? Uh, well, Shweta, this is expected to include the first stimulus package, which was announced on March 26th by the finance minister. That was for uh, 1.7 lakh crore. and uh, it mainly focuses on the direct benefit transfers to jandhan accounts as well as other compliance and taxation related relief uh, for msmes and businesses now the entire amount of 20 lakh crore will also include the rbi's uh, 5.7 lakh crore plan which was announced um, regarding the interest rate cut as well as moratorium on loan loan repayments and other mm-hmm. uh, measures which were taken So, what are the announcements being made right now? Like, I think uh, we have already seen two sessions from uh, Finance Minister Nirmala Sita Raman, and one more uh, to be coming up today. Uh, well, Shweta, yes, it looks like uh, the announcements are being made in a series uh, every day. So, the last two sh- sessions mainly focused on actual relief for MSMEs in the form of loans at concessional rates. Um, also, the definition of MSME was changed, and the upper ceiling was increased. and uh, another announcement uh, for msmes which was relevant was the equity based fund of funds uh, in yesterday's announcements uh, nirmala sitaraman said that uh, workers in the unorganized sectors farmers as well as uh, you know a couple of uh, personal uh, taxation the tcs and tds rates which were announced day before were clarified by her and uh, it announced packages to address that uh including portability of ration card and uh food distribution for those who are not covered by the public uh distribution system there are also likely to be some announcements for traders as well as startups uh we'll have to wait and watch for that yeah so looks like next few days will be a close watch on how this whole thing pans out for the overall economy this week in results we uh, had another it firm that had announced robust results for march quarter pe firm blackstone backed emphasis that is anand yeah so uh, the bangalore based nifty it firm posted 33% rise in net profit and 15% rise in revenue for the march quarter possibly because of the reason that uh, the uh, q4 saw only minimal impact of covid-19 for this company so this was also achieved uh, because there were a lot of digital deals coming through for the company but there is no certainty that this will continue like this uh, through the current financial year the past financial year is no metric for any of the company in this pandemic situation so here there are two opinions on how the year will pan out one group which says that everything is now going to go virtual and both large and small businesses have to take the omni channel route home delivery of products and services and there is a likelihood that cloud and digital spend of companies will have to raise so there is another uh, you know voice which says you know the companies will not undertake new projects or you know the digital transformation initiatives because they would want to conserve cash uh, because uh, they are all struggling uh, with cash problems and most of the digital experiences unless revenue generating will be seen as a discretionary expense you know you wouldn't want to uh, spend large money on personalization experience or give them a better experience to come customer unless it results in you know more customer spending which is very unlikely in this kind of a recessionary economic situation so the to give a perspective digital contributes to 45% of it companies indian it companies revenue so this is going to be hit badly so anand what does it look like will the picture be clear only during the second half of the financial year uh i guess so i mean but uh, that cut either way since you know covid 19 does not seem to slow down or go away most economies are trying to open up now gradually yeah, but you know there could be a second spike as we are now seeing in south korea where infections from just one club 
has undone all the progress they had made during the last couple of months. So uh, there is an equal likelihood of good or bad news uh, coming in over the next three to six months. Uh, probably in an indication of things to come, this week we saw you know, technology research from Gartner revising its IT spending projection for the calendar year 2020, which it now expects to contract by 8% to 3.4 trillion. Earlier, uh, I mean, just this year in Jan or Feb, they had projected that you know IT spending will grow three to four percent uh, this year to three point nine trillion. So, just two months of pandemic, what we are seeing is a loss of half a billion in you know projected revenue for the IT sector. Uh, right, Anand, and the situation is like all of us are confined to our homes. Uh... Uh, and the office continues from here. Uh, in the midst of that, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey has sent email to his employees stating that they can work from home forever. So it is quite a big announcement coming from a tech company to adopt remote working even after the lockdown lifts. The company, however, clarified that the jobs uh, uh, which requires physical present, like maintaining servers and uh, so on, will need employees to come to office uh, any which way. But um, uh, this is quite a big news and also following this trend, uh, Indian, Indian based uh, company, which is an online test preparation platform, an academy also declared that 60% of its workforce will continue to work from home even after the lockdown lifts. In other news, Shweta, food delivery platform Zomato had said that it plans to cut 13% of its workforce among other cost-cutting measures citing a COVID-19 lockdown-induced uh, shrinkage of restaurants by 25 to 40% over the next 6 to 12 months. The Gurugram-based uh, Unicorn also said that its employees will see a temporary pay reduction of up to 50% starting in June. In a letter addressed to the employees by CEO Dipinda Goel said, all our employees who no longer have any work at Zomato will continue to be with us at 50% salary for the next six months. During this time, outside of the handover period of one to two weeks, we expect these folks to spend 100% of their time and energy towards looking for jobs outside of Zomato. Looking at the startup ecosystem, uh, this week we saw that the inside rounds have become a norm as companies um, look at taking what is necessary to continue running business as usual and then, uh, you know, probably wait for better valuations and opportunities once the COVID-19 pandemic is done with and the economy revives. Um, as a case study, we definitely had uh, the micro delivery startup Milk Basket raising a little north of uh, $5 million from existing investors across multiple tranches from February to April. So the company uh, initially ran into some trouble uh, with the last mile delivery when the national lockdown was announced, as did other e-commerce, grocery and food delivery companies. Um, however, considering that you know the social distancing norms will continue to uh, stay in place for a while, they might benefit in the long term, or at least that's what the industry pundits will have us believe. Um, another internal round we saw was for uh, Cloud Kitchen platform Fresh Menu, which is a digital uh, food brand, where uh, existing investor Lightspeed put in about 2.5 crore, um, as did uh, investor uh, K. Ganesh and uh, Srinivas Anumulu, who made up for a 0.5 uh, CR contribution. The On the other hand, uh, the fundings which came into light was logistics aggregator Ship Rocket, which raised $13 million in its Series C round, uh, which was led by Tribe Capital. Uh, Venture Debt Firm, Innoven Capital and existing investors Bertelsmann India also participated in that round. Uh, it is to be noted that company recently entered into hyperlocal uh, delivery of essentials uh, considering the COVID lockdown uh, situation in the country. Uh, and uh, there was beauty and personal care platform Nika raising $8.85 million in an equity round that was uh, from returning investors, Tedview Capital. Uh, there was uh, Magic Pin, which raised $3.89 million in a funding round, which was led by uh, returning investors again, uh, Lightspeed Venture Partners and uh, Lightspeed India Partners. Also, the biggest funding this week was uh, contract management startup Syrian Labs, uh, which raised $44 million, million in its Series C round, which was led by uh, New York headquartered uh, alternative investments firm Tiger Global. So with this, it's a wrap on this edition of Tech This Week. Do stay tuned in and logged on to techcircle.in for more news and updates. Many thanks for listening.